prepared here. Sorry, it's been a couple days since uh, I've made a video. And Franny, if you're watching, uh, let me know what you think of that little uh, solar box that I did a review on. Uh, like I said, uh, it, it seems very cheap. You know, no name really. Um, but the quality, I mean, if, if all you're needing it for is lighting, you know, should the should the grid go down or, hell, I don't know, maybe you need lighting out in your shed. Maybe you don't have power out in your shed and you stick it out there for lighting. Uh, it works great. The lights are stinking bright. Anyway, Franny, let me know how you like that. Uh, I'm curious as to, you know, what other people think. Anyway, guys, so here it is, 10-11 at night uh, on Thursday the 13th. And uh, I didn't have a long conversation, guys, but I just got off the phone with uh, my buddy's girlfriend. My buddy is in the military. Uh, he's over in Poland right now. And... I was also talking to another friend of mine uh, who's my age and who has children in college, unfortunately. I mean, fortunate enough for them that they're in college, but unfortunately she's my age and has children in college. It must mean I'm old. I don't want to admit it, but damn it. Anyway, so these two people have told me some weird things, all right? Now, my buddy's girlfriend, uh, my buddy who's over in the military, his girlfriend told me that uh, they just got issued a few packets of radiation tablets. They got issued radiation suits along, you know, the whole shebang. Uh, the masks suits and they had to go through a, like a four hour training course that was mandatory not only that but nurses and college kids that are going to college for nursing are being trained on how to treat radiation how to put on the protective suits uh, what to check for, uh, what, to, you know, I, I, I'm not sure all what goes into it, but this is what I'm being told. Now take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, but this is definitely what I'm being told. Uh, my buddy's girlfriend called me out of the blue about 20 minutes ago and was like, hey, uh, you know, he told me to get a hold of you and let you know what's going on. And that's, uh, that's one of the things going on. So, to my UK subscriber, I forget your name, uh, I, I'm, I'm just a dumb American, and uh, pronouncing your name is a little hard, so I apologize. Um, but to my UK subscriber, uh, please do me a favor, uh, anytime I have a video coming out or something like that, uh, let me know what's going on over there. I hear it's not good. And, and I feel really bad for you and your people that are over there. I, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing lots of things as far as gas shortages, food shortages, and, and just all kinds of crazy stuff going on over there. So please keep me informed if you would. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll link my email in the, uh, the description below, and you can just email, email me. Uh, you don't have to e uh, comment on the videos if you don't want to so anyway guys so yeah um, if you haven't heard um, Taiwan once again uh, this is like the second or third time that they've come out and said it but apparently Taiwan told China that any more flyovers whatsoever is a uh, Basically, it'll spark war. It, it, it's a it's a it's a threat if China does any more flyovers, and that they will retaliate. 
So, I don't know. They've said it before. I don't know if the U.S. has really got Taiwan's back. I guess we're going to find out. If there's any retaliation on Taiwan's part, uh, maybe shooting down a, a Chinese plane, I don't know. Uh, it's all speculation at this point. I guess we're going to have to see what happens. But, uh... Somebody has to win this war, guys. And basically, I'm going to label it like this. It's either going to be the U.S.-Ukraine with all the NATO allies are going to win, or Russia is going to win. There can't be two winners. And there can only be one loser. And the reason why I bring that up, and, and here's the issue with that. Everybody is fighting for this Taiwan territory. I don't know what the U.S. has to gain in all this. Not unless there's just a few people. I'll word this carefully. Not unless there's just a few people that have some sort of, uh, I guess we'll call it stock in Ukraine. A certain, admini uh, a certain couple people from a certain administration have a lot of stock over in Ukraine. And even though they're not part of NATO, maybe they're obligated to uh, protect them because of their they're afraid of some sort of truth coming to light. Uh, I don't know. But either way, the U.S. has said, and as a matter of fact, they just sent them more money and they're pledging to send them even more money. But uh, the U.S. has said that they got uh, Ukraine's back through this entire ordeal. Um, any strikes on NATO territory, Article 5 gets invoked. As a matter of fact, uh, somebody from NATO just said, I can't remember his name, please forgive me. When I'm driving, I don't have time to write shit down and make notes and whatever else. I'm just trying to go off of memory, if you guys haven't been able to tell uh, by my past videos. But anyway, somebody from NATO basically just told Russia that uh, any sort of advancement onto you know, NATO grounds or something like that, uh, and we'll wipe you off the face of the map, basically. So that's scary. Um, but there's only going to be one, one winner, obviously. In any fight, there's only one winner. Um, and Russia's not going to lose, guys. Russia's already said, if they get back, I mean, they're going to fight to the death. And if they get backed into a corner, they're just going to use their uh, strategic nuclear weapons. So, the U.S. and Ukraine refuse to give up. They're going to throw everything they got at Russia, from what they're saying. And Russia refuses to lose. And if they feel like they're losing, they're going to use nukes got everybody gearing up with nuclear weapons. All these, uh, as a matter of fact, there's several other states now, guys, that I'm hearing of. Uh, Pennsylvania, Missouri, and a few others. <coughs> I can't remember them all right offhand. But uh, they're starting to issue PSAs, uh, telling all their citizens, you know, stock up on uh, radiation tablets if you can. I mean... It's getting bad. Again, I don't think it's a matter of if, I just think it's a matter of when. Do I think we're gonna go to nuclear war? Absolutely. Again, not a matter of if, just a matter of when. Uh, there was something else I was gonna mention to you guys real quick. What the hell, it was literally just on the top of my mind and I forgot. Um, oh. Uh, Right now, guys, uh, the, the U.S.
U.S. is finally admitting that we're in a, uh, a depression. Or a recession, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think we were, we were in a recession. I mean, according to the definition, we were in a recession. And the U.S. kept denying it. They kept changing the, the wording of it and the standards of, of it being a recession. But now that the U.S. is admitting that we're in a recession, I think it's more of a depression. And I think it's only going to get worse. Uh, the best outcome we can hope for at the moment, guys, is a severe depression. That's exactly what we're heading towards. That's exactly what it's going to be. Food is going to become scarce or, you know, uh, another YouTuber described it perfectly. Over in Venezuela, even though their economy got as bad as it did, you still had the rich, the elites, pulling up in Ferraris and loading up the trunks of their, or seats of their cars, whatever. You know, with uh, really, really expensive food that nobody else could afford. You know... A little package of strawberries for 50 bucks, you know, 300 bucks for a package of beef, and couldn't nobody else afford it, guys, and I think that's the way it's going to become, uh, with the way things are headed. Uh, there's been massive fires, guys. Uh, I can't remember them all right offhand, but let's see, you had three Amazon warehouses catch fire in the same week. Um, there was a lumber yard that caught fire, massive lumber yard, and it caught fire, burnt to the ground. There was a paper mill in northern Michigan that burnt to the ground. Uh, there was just a food warehouse just today. There's three fires just today. <coughs> and I'm trying to remember them. Um, there was a grain storage facility, massive one, I do believe that one was in Minnesota. That just caught fire, burnt down, burnt to the ground, right after harvest season. So there goes that grain, guys. Um, I, I can't remember, but there was a couple other fires today. Pretty detrimental. And it seems to be everything that's related, related to our supplies or our food. Now, why is that? government's going to step in and say, oh, no, they're not coincidental, but I call BS. I don't know, guys. Regardless of the outcome, stocking up on food is should be your number one priority. The thing I am, because I get paid tonight at midnight, before I go to work tomorrow, because I got Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, and I plan on going hunting those three days. So tomorrow's my Friday on Friday. Imagine that. I might work Saturday. I don't know. It's a $460 day. I might work Saturday. Depending on if I have enough hours left on my clock. Anyway. But the first thing I'm doing before I leave for work tomorrow is I'm calling... Uh, we got an Abso Pier Water Company here in Michigan. And I'm going to see what it costs to have them run me 10 five gallon jugs of water so basically 50 gallons of spring water is what I'm going to have them bring me I got a perfect little spot in my basement to already store it I'm having them bring it that is strictly strictly for drinking I will filter my water I will go get it out of a lake river stream it doesn't matter for cooking or whatever else because you got to boil it anyway um, so yeah stock up on your water guys stock up on your food um, it's going to get bad uh, I'm not sure which way I'm leaning on this guys I mean so much has happened in the last couple days that I like it's hard to even make the videos. Not that it's hard to find, you know, the content to make the video for videos for you guys. It's just, good lord, it's what do you talk about and try to fit it into 20 minutes? You know, granted, yeah, my videos can go longer if I wanted them to, 
good lord, they take forever to upload. They take forever to edit. <laughs> and uh, I try to keep them about 20 minutes. Another thing I'm doing, guys, uh, this weekend is on Amazon you can buy um, um, wood stove burn barrel kits for like 55 gallon steel drums um, I'm going to buy one of those and I'm also buying a couple steel drums and then I'm going to turn around and uh, try to find preferably double walled um you know, six inch chimney pipe, but if all I can find a single wall, so be it. I'll seal it up and uh, I'll just, I'll have to be extra cautious. But either way, I'm gonna have an alternative heating method um, this winter. Uh, we're already expecting snow this coming Monday. Um, normally we see it by Halloween. That, that You know, that's a normal. Usually we will get some good sleet, maybe a maybe a heavy wet snow on Halloween, and then it progresses from there. But we're only halfway through the month; we're already seeing snow. Hell, the last two days it's been nothing but sleet. I thought I was going to bust the windshield on my personal truck yesterday on my way home. But uh, the reason why I bring that up. You know, have alternative heating methods. The reason why I've been stressing that a lot, guys, is because uh, me and a buddy of mine were talking. Uh, we've been talking for about a year and a half. Well, actually longer. About, you know, what we suspect is going to happen. Well, at the end of last winter, we got to really thinking as, as this stuff was really escalating. And I really think they're going to try to freeze us and starve us out this winter I mean you got the rolling blackout so you don't have power you know the power grid strain they keep shutting down more and more power plants um, OPEC is cutting their gas production by 2 billion uh, barrels a day so I mean is is home heating costs just going to get so expensive to where you can't afford it? I don't know. Um, but I'm going to get a burn barrel anyway, guys. And I'm going to put that in my house. I got some family up north that's going to sell me a couple cords of wood. Uh, $50 each, which is real cheap. It's only been seasoned for 10 months. I'd prefer it be about two years, but it, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? So I'm going to stock up on wood. Matter of fact, I'm going to use one of these days this weekend. I'm taking my chainsaw <coughs> and my trailer out to the woods. And any fallen wood that I find out in the woods, I'm cutting up into uh, stove-sized chunks and uh, I'm bringing it home. I'm going to load down the entire bed of my truck. There's no law against taking wood out of the, you know, off of state land as long as it's already fallen. But it's time to stock up, guys. Uh, even if we don't go to nuclear war, again, our best case scenario at this point is a major uh, depression. Shit is going to get unreal. If you guys think it's bad now, no. Absolutely not. Because of the hurricanes and the weather over the summer, all the crops have been decimated. Uh, the hurricane down in the southern, you know, Florida... 30% of the orange groves have been decimated. Uh, the orange, whatever, transports, uh, it's just been destroyed. So much of what we were relying on to get us through until next year, until next year's crop, either hasn't happened because of the weather, or it's been destroyed one way, shape, or form, or another. Now's the time to get stocked up, guys. You need to build up your pantries now your basements, your pantries, whatever you can do, build it up now. A hundred extra bucks a month in food or a hundred extra bucks a, uh, a week or whatever you guys can do because I think if we make it, if we make it to 2023 without some sort of nuclear war escalation, 
uh, I really think prices of everything are going to get out of hand. Food price inflation right now, the new numbers just came out, food price inflation is at 15% and expected to rise. Um, <coughs> I forget who said it. Uh, some higher up, some stock market analyst, whatever. They expect the stock market to crash another 20-30%, guys. What do you think that's going to do for prices on your food, on your gas, on, on your everyday items that you guys buy? It's going to skyrocket. Go buy it now. Stock up on what you can. Get your IOSAT tablets. Uh, don't take just my word for it, but talk to Franny Smirdly, one of my uh, subscribers. She just ordered one of those little green solar light boxes that I have uh, after my review um, I mean if that thing works great I think it works great let's see what she has to say go ahead Franny comment under this video let everybody know what you think of that uh, you have 90 minutes of drive time remaining oops uh, let everybody know what you think of that little uh, solar box and I mean it feels cheap it really does it feels like it's garbage but it works flawless it works great at least the two that I have do. So anyway, guys, with that being said, uh, it's just... You really got to keep your eye on the ball. Don't get complacent. Um, keep your heads on a swivel. Do what you can now. It's getting so bad you got to prepare for every scenario possible. And the biggest things you guys can do to prepare for every scenario possible, food, water, shelter, and heat. If you keep those four things in mind, oh well, five, protection. Gotta have protection. Uh, as a matter of fact, speaking of protection, civil unrest is getting real. I got an article I'm going to post right here. I almost forgot about that. Yes, I'm going to end the video, but I'm, just real quick. There was a 70 year old lady. You guys told, uh, I've been telling you guys that people are being robbed at the grocery stores. Whether they're going in, coming out, they're being robbed for their purses, for their wallets, for the groceries. It doesn't matter. They're being robbed. They're picking on the elderly. So, for all you older ladies out there, please take somebody with you that can help defend you, you know, ask your grandson, your, you know, a granddaughter that's, you know, kind of tough, take somebody with you that'll have your back, please don't go alone, it's getting really dangerous, but here's an article, just happened a couple days ago, 20 miles from my house, and I've been hearing about it happening everywhere, guys, but I finally got proof, and I'll post that up here. That being said, guys, please stock up. Please stay safe. Keep your heads on a swivel. Please do me that favor. Like, share, and subscribe. More videos will be coming your way. And uh, I'm going to do my best to keep you guys informed. But with the military being trained on how to protect themselves from uh, radiation, and nurses being trained, and, you know, uh, college kids going into nursing being trained, all these PSAs going out uh, throughout all these different states telling people, you know, how to shelter into place, how to protect from nuclear disaster. I mean, what more proof do you need? The U.S. just bought $290 million worth of uh, radiation treatment, so that should tell you something guys stay safe please like share subscribe keep your heads on a swivel love y'all wish you prepared out